In response to the prolonged power outages caused by Hurricane Hone, the Big Island has opened two shelters. They are located in the Keao Armory at Shipman Park and the Pahoa Neighborhood Facility at William Kinoy District Park. Both locations are pet friendly. They both have Wi-Fi. Residents are asked to bring their own chargers and belongings. At last check, Hawaiian Electric says about 1,900 customers remain in the dark. Workers from Oahu have flown in to help crews in Upper and Lower Puna, Honoka'a, and Waimea today. Nikki Shenfeld has been on the Big Island since the storm started and joins us now with the very latest this evening from Hilo. Hi, Nikki. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, Howard. Uh, finally, after two days, we can see the sun. The sun is out. But I want you to take a look out here at Hilo Bay and how brown the water is. Now, of course, we are situated right by the Wailuku River. And yesterday, last night, after all of that torrential, torrential downpours and rain, Wailuku River was flash flooding, I would say about 200 yards out. We were seeing trees and logs and debris just coming right out into the ocean, of course, leading and resulting in this brown water. But now crews are working quickly to clear all of those streams while there is more rain in the forecast. From Kohala to Ka'u, Hone dumped over a foot of rain on parts of Hawaii Island. Ka'u had major road damage. They had a lot of rain over there. And some roads were damaged. We got two major ones, Kava Flats, which is closing a highway. Also, Kane Hall Road, which seems like that one's going to be out for quite a while, took out a culvert. Highway 11 between Punalu'u and Na'alehu remain closed, which prompted the Department of Education to cancel school nearby. As of noon Monday, Mayor Ross said about 20 damage reports came in, and he anticipates more as power gets restored across the island. As of 2 o'clock Monday afternoon, HECO reported roughly 2,000 customers from Mountain View to Volcano still without power, as crews continue working on lines damaged during the strong winds Saturday night. Many rural communities like Volcano were left in the dark on Sunday and businesses were eager to open with their generators so residents could come in for supplies. Flashlights, uh, candles, propane, yeah, ice, <laughs> ran out of ice. We were able to run generators and have a bunch of people come in for necessities through the storm to weather it out. Some Volcano residents had power back on by 9 p.m. Sunday. Across the highway, it doesn't have power still. Yes. A lot of people are still coming in today, uh, yep. complaining about no power. The county has opened two shelters for residents experiencing prolonged outages, one in Keaau, the other in Pahoa. Flights in and out of Hilo were canceled Saturday afternoon and Sunday, leaving many people stranded. Hawaiian Airlines adding two more flights Monday to accommodate all travelers, resulting in long lines at Hilo Airport on Monday. And county workers were also seen all over, clearing trees and debris from flooded or swollen streams as the island braces for more rain later this week. We know now that our ground is saturated, and so it's a great time to be prepared. If you don't have a preparedness plan, you know, we recommend people go to the Civil Defense website. And the county is hosting two hazard mitigation meetings over the next two days. And residents can provide comments and feedback there. We'll have information on where those are taking place over the next two days on our website, kh12.com. But also, if you have any damage from Hone, the county is urging people to go onto their website and file a damage report. Reporting live from Hilo, Nikki Schoenfeld, KH12 News, back to you.